Yeah, I'll definitely prepare, you know, around some of those data privacy uh, and ethic, ethical AI topics, as well as, you know, um, specifically talking about the autonomous driving space, um, you know, other areas that I think are, are, are a real opportunity is kind of in the logistics, you know, smart cities, um, you know, smart factory space um, yeah. as well. And, uh, you know, there's, I might be able to talk a little bit about that. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, the big question of how close are we to what they call artificial general intelligence, you know, where you have, uh, you know, AI that is human level, essentially. Mm -hmm. And uh, is the behavior that we're seeing from uh, the, the uh, Lambda, the Google AI, is that sentient behavior is it not or, or, or what does that tell us about you know our ways of measuring uh sentience right we have the turing test but what are what are some other ways we don't really we don't at this point i don't know if we can really measure uh sentience effectively right so um you know it's it's a real interesting question but i'd be i'd be glad to dive into also the history of the um history of AI, you know, what's kind of led led up to the boom, uh, where we're kind of at now, you know, with, uh, you know, being able to pro data processing systems in, in the form of distributed computing, and then also paralyzed, you know, uh, paralyzed uh, processors such as GPUs that allowed, allowed us to train machine learning, uh, AI and machine learning algorithms uh, much, uh, much more on much more data in uh, much smaller time frames. So, um, you know, I think it's still, you know, I focus a lot on what I call narrow AI, which is, you know, very, you have an algorithm that's trained on a specific set of data for a specific task. Um, and that's what I think a lot of our, you know, applications are at today um, and historically, uh, yeah, it's pretty much about pattern recognition and, you know, once you have this ability to automatically detect patterns of data, what do you, what do, you do with it, right? And so um, we, we definitely have that. And to me, the big, the big risk today is people using those narrow AIs in ways that might not be um, helpful to humanity and may in fact be harmful. And I, I actually think that's more of a danger, uh, potentially, than um, you know an, art, an, an artificial general, you know, a sentient AI taking over our, you know, a Skynet type situation. Um, right. So I'd be glad to talk about that and you know go into more detail about that. But yeah, all topics that I'm really passionate about and you know stuff that I think about and, and deal with every day as part of my job.